This skeleton is made up of living bones and it grows as we grow. A baby's skeleton has more than 300 bones, but as we grow, some of these fuse together. By the time we are adults, the average human has 206 bones. Did you know that over half of these are in the hands and feet? Our skeleton has three main functions. Protection, protecting different organs, for example, the rib cage protects the heart and the skull protects the brain. Movement, bones and joints help us move and engage in different actions, such as holding a pen, clapping, jumping, etc. And support, the skeleton keeps the human body upright and enables its shape. Help your children learn all about the human skeleton with these wonderful resources. Learn some key vocabulary with this human skeleton word search. Children will become familiar with bones in their bodies as they read and locate bone names. Use this handy activity in your science lessons to help your pupils practice what they already know or even fill in any existing gaps of knowledge. Once children have found all the words in the grid, why not encourage them to explain where each bone is positioned in the body? Perfect for recalling previous knowledge. Whether used as a group or individual exercise, this skeletal system word search has answers, which help your pupils in case they struggle to find all the words. It's a versatile resource, equally great for use in lessons or at home. In a similar vein, learn the names of the joints with this joints word search. Joints are parts of the body where two or more bones meet. The joint enables movement of the bones. Use this resource to reinforce the names of joints, the different parts of the human body where joints can be found, and some of the bones that they connect. It would also be useful as an introduction to the vocabulary that pupils will meet before a lesson on joints. Finally, put students' knowledge into practice with this blank skeleton resource. Encourage your class to label the different parts themselves. This activity would be great to use as a pre and post assessment at the beginning and end of a unit to see what children have learnt, or children could keep it with them throughout their learning, adding labels as they go. It would also be a great worksheet to accompany children in a research lesson, in which they might use science books or go on a scavenger hunt for information on the names of the parts of the human skeleton. On the Twinkle website, we have a wide range of resources to support teaching and learning on the human skeleton including information resources, craft resources, and AR models. Be sure to check us out to teach your budding biologists all they want to learn about the human skeleton. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a lovely rest of your day.